All right, and still on matters energy, let's cook a little bit. An initiative to promote and improve air quality and community health in sub-Saharan Africa is introducing stoves that use less charcoal and firewood. Juma Majanga reports from Nakuru, Kenya. Market in Nakuru, a town in Kenya's Rift Valley region, Josephine Abongo is busy attending to customers at her cook stove's shop. Abongo produces and sells clay molded energy saving stoves that she says are a great improvement to the open fire cooking technology used in most rural homes in Kenya. So what, we what we are doing is to bring back the traditional technology, but in an improved way, in a digital way, so that it can be used even in urban homes. That way we will save trees, we will save the environment, and we will save our health. We will also save economically because the economy is currently bad and people don't have money. The project is being implemented by Practical Action, a development-focused non-governmental organization. I think it's becoming a talk that... Um, we are moving uh, the discussion towards ensuring that um, our local people transit uh, from uh, the traditional cooking uh, solutions to the new cooking solutions that save their lives. Health experts say cooking smoke is a major health risk, especially to rural populations in sub-Saharan Africa. Data from Kenya's Ministry of Health estimates that 21,500 premature deaths occur each year as a result of indoor air pollution triggered by cooking. The use of firewood, as we know, when it burns, uh, that smoke is direct. It's worse than even when you smoke because there is a filter. This is uh, the uh, primary use of the smoke, which has a lot of effect in the lungs. Unlike traditional stoves, the improved devices are designed so the flame is aimed directly at the cooking pot to avoid wasting heat. They also have just one opening for charcoal and firewood instead of three. And they are constructed with a thick liner made from a special type of clay for heat conservation. All these factors make the stoves up to 40% more efficient, reducing consumption of firewood and charcoal. Practical Action says around 200,000 improved cook stoves have been sold by more than 300 trained entrepreneurs like Abongo. Kagoto Danji Vocational Training Center is one institution that has adopted the cleaner cooking technology. Principal Malaki Manase says the move has cut costs for the institution. We used to have a full ton, a lorry of firewood uh, a term. But uh, the way I've implemented it, I've saved almost 80% of that, which is a plus for us. Last year's International Energy Agency annual conference in Nairobi called for an acceleration of universal access to cleaner cooking through government incentives and subsidies. Practical Actions team Mwangi says funding remains a major problem for African countries. Well, we have very good policies, but in terms of um, um, funding, then it needs to match the good policies that we have in there. Kenya aims to achieve 100% access to clean cooking by 2028 in line with UN Sustainable Development Goals. Joma, Majanga, VOA News, Nakoru, Kenya. Incredible, incredible ways to make a better environment and also cook clean this particular moment we take a short break right here on business today when you come back we have this conversation of the finance bill we've been having over the past month or so and uh, how it touches on you and what are the challenges and what are the recommendations